Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings and star sign readings. We're moving into the week of October 16th to the 23rd. We have a new moon on Thursday and moving into uh, Scorpio on the 21st. So I'm not sure if the week is going to be stable energetically or not. Before we go into the star signs, we'll have a look at the overall energy. So let's see what uh, we all have to put up with, as it were. Actually, that's quite good news. We have the shaman of purification and the unfulfilled memory. So this is a week to let things go, to also purify yourself, um, walk away from stuff. And the answer of memory means that it is time also to let, uh, let go of things that are older. Uh, older issues can now be released. So that's going to be uh, fun because you have purification. And purification can be uh, comparatively easy. So there's nothing heavy here energetically. Uh, so the overall energy is about, um, in a way, manifesting and allowing yourself to let go of things this week that no longer serve you. So that's the overall energy. And now we're moving into the star sign starting with Libra and then next week we will start with Scorpio because we're moving into the star sign as I, as I said. So let's have a look at Libra. Card falls out so it wants to be red. Libra people are quite protected this week. Um, there is also um, family members around you, loved ones around you that have passed over uh, already. So you're quite uh, protected by, by family as it were. And you have the otter, which is the builder of bridges. So this week, even though remember the overall topic was letting go, it's important to not be aggressive about it. Don't burn bridges, don't go um, aggressively um, away from things. Um, solve your things with, with love and, and calmness and just let them go. Um, again, there's nothing really heavy in your in your cards, so that that's gonna that's a good thing. So that was Libra moving into Scorpio. I'm just using another deck. For Scorpio, Scorpio is important this week to remember that you have made progress. Um, if people sort of talk down on you and, and um, make you feel as if you are uh, less or worse less, um, do not pay any attention because you have made progress. Your life is progressing uh, even though you may feel it is slow. You have the coyote um, as your spirit animal guide this week which is a scavenger. He knows there's always enough for him to go around. So what they're saying to you is keep going. You know, the universe has got your back. Um, there will always be enough for you to be sustained uh, no matter how difficult your life feels. So um, there's really nothing to worry about as long as you remember this week that you have made progress and that um, people when they're negative towards you they really shouldn't be uh, in your life. And it's important to escape these kind of energies this week. And if you can't because you for instance say you know um, my workplace isn't the best um, and now it is time to, to take a few days holidays or call in sick because you should not be in energy that is negative towards you. Okie doke, and we, we all know from experience that sometimes, uh, um, you know, uh, bosses and colleagues um, are actually big triggers because you really can't escape, you know, once you pay, once you sign that contract, you stay there for eight hours a day. <laughs> so it's important this week to protect yourself by, by, by not being in, in low energy. Okay, that was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Vegetarians too are quite protected this week, loads of guides around you um, and you will get messages in your dreams. You have the dream trap and the shaman. So your guides are trying to reach you but they reach you through your dreams which actually means that they have probably tried everything and anything under the sun to reach you <laughs> and uh, probably failed but which means that you could be just too busy, um, too preoccupied with thoughts 
um, and it's important this week to um, probably get a, a diary and have a dream diary. How this usually works is that you um, you set an intention and the intention is to remember bits and pieces of your dreams and um, it actually works quite well um, because as you as you wake up with your intention still intact you write down what you remember and if you then uh, do this over the week you usually see some patterns so this week it's important for Sagittarius to to watch your dreams and um, see what the message is inside or in, in the moving into Capricorn Quite an active little park this weekend, so there is uh, background noises. But we live going into Capricorn right now. For Capricorns, it's important to realize this week that there are certain areas, and they're all um, personal areas, where you lose a little bit of space, where you're not quite getting through as much as you would want to. And um, what is interesting about this week for you is that when you pay attention to things, you see the world exactly the way it is. So your uh, perception of things is actually absolutely intact and you know exactly what's going on. It's just that you might not be heard that well this week. So uh, at all times speak your truth. It's really, really important to speak your truth and to not sway and not be swayed um, by opinionated people. And uh, already we can see this little pattern here with, with people being um, um, forceful towards some star signs. And because this is a week of purification, it makes no sense to just to, to sit there and take it. Um, so walking away is the much better option for, for all of us this week. So that was um, Capricorn, and now we're going into Aquarius. For Aquarius this week, it's important to remember your personal space. You're protected by the spider, which is the creator, and you have the web of life. And in this web of life, you decide who has the most space in it. And it's oftentimes people that you love dearly that take up the most space in your personal, private life. And sometimes it's important to tell them that there are boundaries. Uh, because if you are always kind and, and listen to people, for instance, all the time, it takes away from your space, your me time. So it's important this week to, to remember that this has probably happened to you before, that there are people who are by default quite demanding, and this is a week to tell them off a little bit. Okay? There was Aquarius going into Pisces. There is a plane somewhere overhead. I don't know how much you can, you can hear. This, but um, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a easy little place today. Moving into Pisces, and as I share every week, I'm Pisces, <laughs> so I'm always very, very um, interested in finding out what's up for my star sign this week. So let's go into Pisces. Okay. We have the journeyer and the hunter of dreams. So whatever the Pisces are going through, it would be too early to trust and to believe that that the journey is over, that we have sort of um, let everything go. Remember, the over energy was to let things go. But there is still stuff sitting inside Pisces that hasn't quite been released and that will not be released this week. So patience is needed if there is some, um, I don't know, some old pain inside us. Um, we have to allow it to be there, hopefully flush it out a little bit, tears are sacred medicine, this sort of thing. Um, but on a whole, we're not ready for new beginnings just yet. We have the Hunter of Dreams. It's similar to the star sign um, that I talked about earlier, where we have to watch our dreams. So here too is an indication that we're probably too busy, um, too preoccupied with thoughts, and that in dreams we get loads of messages. Right, so that was Pisces, moving into Aries. Aries have actually quite an opportunistic week ahead because your, your true vision, what you came here for, will be revealed to you this week. This is a really good week for meditation and for uh, calmly sitting and allowing yourself to see where you're going with your life. 
You have the Hunter of Paths, which means there are new opportunities, new beginnings that are being revealed to you this week. It's just important this week to, to, pay, to pay attention to these things. That's Aries moving into Taurus. Okay, for Tauruses, it's also important this week to have space and make space and um, have as much personal freedom as you could possibly have. You have, you have the white tailed deer and the horse. The white tailed deer has beautiful antlers, which means you're fully protected to be in your strengths. But the horse also means that if you are um, in a situation where you can't really escape, there might be friction. So it's important this week to have some me time, some space and some personal freedom. And what is important about this is that sometimes personal freedom does not mean that you reject someone when you tell them that you need more space. It just means that you have to be upfront about it. So they know that you're not rejecting them, but that this is just a part of your way of dealing with the world um, by, by making space. So this is a week for you to, um, in order for you to purify and let stuff go, to have a lot of me time and a lot of space. That was Taurus going to Gemini. <coughs> Quite an easy week ahead for Gemini, on a whole, because you have the dancer of joy and the spirit of wisdom. So the more light-hearted you are this week, the more you are... Silly is the wrong word, but the more you are um, in your funny mode, so to speak, and in your really light-hearted mode, the more you will actually reflect on who you truly are. You have the spirit of wisdom, which means that you have a lot of knowledge already inside you, so you know who you truly are. If you can't see it, then this week is no point being persuaded about it. You have to be lighthearted. Um, one way of being lighthearted is to just be in front of the mirror and make faces, play air guitar, do something silly. You know, break into song, break into laughter. You know, um, nothing too serious this week will allow you to really encounter your inner wisdom, which is obviously uh, one of the most important things given that the overall energy is about letting things go and, and healing, purification is also healing. So, but on a whole, um, once you follow that advice, you know, being, being light-hearted, you will probably notice straight away how easy things can be because of it. That was Gemini going into Cancer. Let's see what we got for the Cancerians. For the Cancerians, it is important this week to take things slowly and easy, nothing rushed. Um, this week ought to be a stress-free week, if that's possible, because it depends on you know what you do for a living and this kind of thing. Um, but minimizing stress is really important this week. Everything you need to be calm. You see much more, you um, observe much better if you're calm and also this is a good week uh, for you to see new beginnings coming to you so don't chase anything if you feel like this week um, you know I have to make a decision here and there it's not a good week to make decisions at all it's a good week to observe um, and reflect on, on, on your life and on your choices that you've made thus far and um, be calm about things that's really really important so don't be rushed by anybody and things will come to you that was the Cancerians going into Leo now For Leo, it's important to remember and to deal with family uh, issues this week. Family also means tribe. It, it could be pe mean people that you have been with for a long time. They could be your best friends they, that you feel are, are, are just as much family as your mom and dad would be, for instance. But the, the, the overall topic for you is to reflect on, on family issues. And it's important because you have the owl and the heron here um, to observe. The owl draws an auditory map to get the mouse in the undergrowth without getting caught. And the analogy is that when you actually pay attention to who is saying what, who makes you feel a certain way, who is causing issues, 
you're halfway there. And the heron is a, is a bird that stands on one leg and when the fish comes, he gladly takes it and says thank you. So um, things will come to you this week that will allow you to feel what's going on and where you can make changes. Um, energetically speaking, this is also a very likely going to be a week where you realize that maybe in your family or in your um, close friends, sort of web and net, um, not everything can be fixed. And if it's not fixable at this point in time, it would be much better to let it go and to walk away rather than giving, you know, second chances, third chances and, 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 and so on. Right? So that was Leo dealing with family this week and our last star, star sign for the day is Virgo. And then next week we won't be starting with Leo, probably we'll be starting with Scorpio as I, as I mentioned earlier. So let's have a look at Virgo, our last star sign for the day. Virgo this week need patience. You have the brown bear and the Canada goose. And what it really means is you have to be in your nurturing but in your, in your, in your strengths. You need to uh, make sure that this week you are the number one in your universe. Um, and this is not ego at all to come, number, to, to, to come first and be number one. It's just when you're, not, when you're not well, how can you look after other people, including yourself? So this week is really the time to, to um, allow yourself to be fully in your strengths and claim your space. And then you, you will see things very likely not really flow, flowing and not really working, not in all areas. This is, all, this is actually all about uh, personal life. So in your private matters, personal matters, you will probably feel something is a bit off and you would be right about that. Uh, but you will, you will need some patience. Uh, you will not necessarily be able to let it all go this week. Um, this is a week for you to reflect, if that makes sense. Right? And that's all we have time for. See you all in a week.